boxing fans, it's Aztec 101 in the ring. So, um, I have a question for D-Style Boxing. Now, I, I, I don't know if this is out of line or if it's too up front, but frankly, I don't care. I just want to ask the question. If I get an answer, great. If I don't, so be it. But I have a question. Um, D-Style. You, you just made an hour video expressing opinions about Boxing Librarian. Now, my question is, out of all the years that Boxing Librarian has been part of YouTube, have you ever told him straight up that you this is how you feel about another person or about him? Um, cause you, 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 you've, you've been friendly with him. You've gone back and forth. You were a guest on his channel. You know, you, you go do all that, but, um, it just seems snakish that once he leaves, um, you start talking shit, right? And, um, and I'm just asking, like, is this, is this, is this, just part, uh, is this what you were trying to do? Do you do, I feel like you normally do this, you know? I feel like you do talk shit behind people's back. I've actually caught you talk shit, um, do responses to me without letting me know, putting my name on the title, um, and, and you'll mention me in, in the video. And it just so happens that either I'm told that you did a video with my name in it, or I happen to watch it, you know? So I've caught you doing that shit, and I know you talk behind people's back. So I'm just, uh, I'm just asking the question: like, did you let him know that this is how you felt? You know, because you do talk about other channels like their shit don't, like your shit don't stink, bro. You know, you really do. Like I, I remember you did this video not too long ago. You, you kind of did a response without letting Zone Six Boxing know that you did a response. You talked about him in one of your videos, and you said that you think it's a little childish and you think it's a little foolish that he's going out there and calling other channels out to debates. You think it's it's a waste of time and it's worthless, right? But um, but then just a few videos later, you'll start calling out Sean Newton. You know, hypocritical as fuck, right? So, I mean, it's just a little odd. It's a little odd that you go and you do this video and you talk about how reckless the boxing librarian was with the blocking and all that, you know. Let's cut the bullshit, bro. You blocked me after I fucking called you out on that debate. And you and I have been kind of low-key beefing a little bit, but uh, it's never been aired out on why, where, where this animosity comes from. You know, and I am going to tell you a little, a little something, man. Um, the reason why I come at you sometimes like this and, and you, maybe you might not know why, um, but, uh, especially on certain topics is because you're, you're, you're the token Mexican for the LDBC. Now, whether you want to admit it or not, it is what it is, but you are the token Mexican for the LDBC. There's no other Mexican in that group or that hangs around them that talks to DCB or that talks to Bill Ben Umar or that does anything like that 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 isn't you. You know, you're the only Mexican that that does that. So, um, you know, I used to do videos, uh, not videos, but I used to be on the phone with 78 Sports TV. Um, you know, the Roundtable Boxing. Um, who, which is, you know, a conglomerate of different channels. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I do notice that you, whatever has become the LDBC, you're the only Mexican that really kind of has been, you know, been in touch with them, right? On a positive note. Um, but, it, you know, is that where this is coming from? Like, you feel like, like, he's disrespected that group that has um, accepted you a little bit. So you feel, like, a little defensive uh, in, in their favor? You know, that's another question I have. You, you, you kind of seem a little bit appreciative that you did become the token Mexican. Um, but a a anyways, anyways, you know, I, I, I just noticed that you went an hour long talking about someone... You know, I've never seen you uh, mention him before or talk about him like this before. So uh, why, you know, why now? Why now? That's kind of my question. Uh, is it a big deal? Do I give a fuck whether you respond or not? No, not really. 
but I thought I'd throw it out there. I throw it. I thought I'd throw it out there because at the end of the day, the question is valid. And even if you don't answer, I think a lot of people are going to agree that you do walk around like your shit don't stink, bro. You block me and I've never said racist shit. You go on your channel. I've only blocked people that are racist. Shut the fuck up, bro. No, you. No. No. You get butt hurt and you block. You do the same shit. And you troll. You troll, motherfucker. So don't fucking act like... Ah, God damn, man. Sometimes. Sometimes. I, I, I don't know. This is Aztec 101 in the ring. And I'm out.